topmost. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashuk, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, and Kakadash. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of His only begotten Son. And to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity to the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Hey, set this up, Mark. The four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. All right, we're the brothers from Great Millstone, Chicago coming at you another uh, weekend of prophesying the downfall of this present evil, wicked world. All right. Um, Let's grab that uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8 to kick it off. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of prophet Excuse me, the prophet which prophesied the peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Kind of, so uh, the point is, uh, as a matter of fact, we're at that Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, The prophets of that have been before me of old. And that was Jeremiah speaking. And he was a prophet. So he said, The prophets that were before him prophesied against nations, kingdoms, of the tongues of what pestilence all right wars and that's what's going on right now uh you got that yep 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 go ahead if i if i can, uh ecclesiastes 1 and 9 the thing that has been it is that which shall be done and that which is done is that which shall be done I'll read that part again the thing that have been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. So just like Jeremiah said, the prophets before me of old prophesied of the things that are to come to pass. You know, hey, there's nothing new under the sun. So guess what? Men of the Lord are back doing the same thing. The prophets are back doing the same thing they did in the ancient time, yep. warning the people. All right. If I, real quick, if I can jump back to verse 1, it says, The words of the preacher, the son of David, king of Jerusalem. Now, when you look up that word for preacher, that word there is kwahalaf, a, co a, a collector of sentences, a preacher, a public speaker, speaker in an embassy. Yep. So that's what they were doing, man. They, was, they were public speakers. Yep. There's nothing new under the sun, so... Hey, that's what the uh, uh, Amos 3 and 7, that's what the Lord does. He sends out his prophets, all right, and they got the secrets. They got the mysteries. They got the understanding. Verse 10, is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It had been already of old time, which was before us. Which goes into reincarnation, you know. We, uh, if you don't understand reincarnation, you don't understand the Bible. All right, that's a that's one of the puzzle pieces to the scriptures. Is reincarnation? Ain't no YOLO. You only live once. No. Uh, Shit. You 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 die and you come back. All right. Uh, Go ahead. This is Sirach 27 and 8. If thou followest righteousness, thou shalt obtain her and put her on as a glorious long robe. The birds will resort unto their like. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. That's right. You know, so it's the same thing with uh, that Daniel's the 12th chapter. Get the last verse. All right. Because the ones practicing in her are going to receive that wisdom. All right. The ones uh, um, who come back in the flesh that were uh, righteous in the past or, you know, righteous in the best of their abilities. All right. They're coming back. Uh, in their stead, in their lot. Read that Daniel's real quick. Yep, this is Daniel 12 and 13. But go thou thy way to the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. 
right? And what was Daniel's lot? He was a prophet. So guess what? Daniel may be amongst us right now. All right, not specifically here in, in Chicago, but as far as the brotherhood of the men of the Yahweh Shimei Ashai going out and teaching his word. And guess what? That wisdom was being practiced and it came back to him. You know, he's standing in his lot. And, uh, and, 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 and he was high level back then. Daniel was the president. So he would have to be high level now. Oh, yeah. Right. I'll just throw that in there. Yeah, you know, he's more probably one of the apostles. You know? <laughs> Could possibly be one of the apostles. Alright? And, um, and, but Daniel coming back now, guess what? He's going to know more than the, the Daniel that was uh, written about here. All right, because there were some things that the prophets didn't understand in the ancient times. All right, seeing uh, visions of, of the future. They see a, a, a ICBM nuclear missile. They, they wrote it down as an arrow, you know, just to give you an example. They didn't have the understanding of what we do today. Like Apostle Tahar says, we, uh, us today, we have a more revelation, more revealing of the scriptures than the, the uh, prophets did in the ancient times, you know? Um, but, uh, hey, look, the Lord sent his men out to warn the people. All right. Uh, when you get that, get a uh, hold of Ezekiel 3 and 17. Okay. Quick precept for that. First Corinthians 13 and 9. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. I, and the thing is, uh, like it also said, uh, we see through a glass darkly. All right, but like you said, as, as things are happening and things on the earth are progressing, and that glass is being wiped, we can, we can see things more clearly. All right, we know that, like what would what, what Ronald Dalton say, the chariots, those are real chariots. No, that's not correct. Those chariots, it's talking about with those, those uh, heavenly vehicles. All right, of course, it talks about the physical things too, but those are done away with. All right? it's, it's new stuff. We're standing at the end uh, of days, at the end of our life. So of course the things are going to update a glitter of spirit that can go to the end of the earth. All right? They didn't know what that was. We do. Ezekiel uh, uh, three seventeen. Uh, this is Sunakia. You got it. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter three verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. So Yahweh sent out the prophets. To, to warn, all right, grab a, uh, get that Jeremiah 44 and 4, all right, to warn the people, all right, to do, stop doing wickedness. Mind you, the people he's warning are his people, all right, the Heavenly Father can care less about the other heathen nations, all right, uh, uh, upon contrary belief, that's what taught in your, uh, uh, it really ain't a church, <laughs> you know, it's a harlot house, you know. Uh, but where you learn from, you learn from your so-called uh, teachers and pastors, all right. Con Upon contrary belief, all right. The heavenly fathers uh, for his people, right. So he's warning his people. Speak unto the children of Israel, right. The sons of Israel, and warn them. So that's how the heavenly father deals. He warns the people ahead of time, right. Um, Grab that Jeremiah first. This oh, no. is the, yeah, that's uh, Jeremiah 44 and 4, right? Yeah, yeah, read that first. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 4. How about I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable, abominable uh, things that I hate. Right. So, so the Heavenly Father sent out, they said, all his prophets. You know, because there's many prophets. You know, some prophets ain't even mentioned by name, but you know, they're still prophets. Okay, so he sent them all to warn, and it says rising early, not necessarily at the break when when uh the, the light hit. No, as far as while it's still time for place of repentance. You know, it's still early to get this this truth before it's too late, before it becomes that deep in the night. So like, what's that uh song about? John Elton, uh, don't let the sun, they said something like, don't let the sun set on the British Empire. Uh, 
right? So it said, and then you go to Genesis 49, they talk about the tribe of Israel, it said the evening, basically said the evening got his victory, man. All right? So later than the night. Yeah, so later than the night. All right? Yep, so yeah. the, Lord, the Lord sent his men out while there's still time to, to repent. All right? And you ain't going to repent on Judgment Day when, when uh, they shoot those nuclear missiles off. And you get, you know, those pranks on YouTube where they do the, the missile prank and it's all like, yeah, they, uh, it's like a video on YouTube where you, you think you're watching the news when you prank somebody and then it's like, emergency, this is not a test. And they do like a, free, a fake state of emergency. And, hey, when that, when that, uh, that message comes on your TV, this is not a test and those missiles are shot off, you ain't, you can't bow down and be like oh forgive me god like it don't work like that god. you know the lord hey you need to repent now i'm holding that luke 1 and 69 right uh read the next verse in that jeremiah 44 and 5 and it reads but they hearken not nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense unto other gods and that's two-thirds of our people they ain't gonna repent they're not going to listen. They're not going to take heed. All right? And they're going to worship the, these other false gods, whether whatever it is. Anything outside of Yahweh, all right, through the, uh, through the order he set up, you know, you're worshiping another god. And you, you can still, you can hold the same book, the same Bible that we got, but you could be worshiping a whole different god that's not the same god, the true god of the scriptures. All right? Uh, this is uh, Luke 1 and 69. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So that's how the Heavenly Father deals, all right, through, the, through speaking through the mouth of his prophets, all right. Um, get Proverbs, the first chapter. And let's... Uh, uh, read uh, like where it says uh, it's like twenty something where wisdom part about. You have yep. something? Yep. Isaiah fifty five and eleven. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. And what the thing is, you have to have men who speak that word, who say that word. All right. That's what the prop, who the prophets are. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, which is it's talking about the end, but the point being, the word is going forth right, to the four corners of the earth. And then so shall the end be. Yeah. And he did it uh, by uh, his word to his prophets. You know, uh, how does the scripture go? It goes, uh, um, Yahweh gave the word, and great was the company of them that published it. All right, because look, when 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 the, when God gave His commandments verbally, all right, in Exodus, hey, hey, you you uh the, the ones that were in the wilderness, they was like, hey, they, you know what Moses, you go deal with him. We gonna deal with you. You go deal with him. You know, because hey, imagine that. You see the chariot come down, fire and smoke and lightning and thunder. You know, Jake was shitting on themselves. Like, oh shit, right. thou shalt not, oh, oh, thou shalt not. Like, hey, Moses, we gonna deal with you. <laughs> so, you know how people be like, well, why can't God come down and do it right now? You wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want that. So believe me. The, the desire of day. Right, you wouldn't want God to come down right now and start rebuking that ass. They said the same thing. Uh, uh, we was on Mount Sinai. They said, "Why can't we talk?" They said, "Can he talk to you? How he talked to him? He's afraid." Man. Yeah, but his voice is so powerful. Like, like, like yeah, never mind. Never mind. Right. So he he speak through his through his men, the prophets. All right, and they're giving you that warning, you know. And the ones who take heed, you know, that's a hey, that's great. The ones who don't. Hey, that's your ass, you know? Yep. Real quick, Psalm 66 and 55. Come and see the works of the Most High. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. 
to be turned to sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There we, there did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Right, so the power of our God is nothing to be messing around with. You know? What you got? The Proverbs? Proverbs 1 and 20. And it reads, Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse. Oh, this is it right now. This is the chief place of concourse, man. All right? On Rothschilds, whatever the name they go by, they own this. They like own everything down here. Commerce. All right, commerce. All right, not in your living room. All right, not in your, not in your mama's basement. Not the library out here. Not on the keyboard. Right. Oh, the, uh, right. the keyboard, the, 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 right. the letters are faded. Right. On the keyboard for right. uh, scoffing so damn much. I remember uh, Nazariah, Nazariah from uh, Friday, Friday. Oh, this computer, this is the highway. What's the truth? The highway, but no, this is the real, the actual highway. Right, we see no gas like it. That's the years. virtual highway. Yeah. Alright, virtual reality. <laughs> go on, go ahead. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates. Right, and we read in that uh what was it, the Sirach, how the wisdom returned to them that practice in her. That's the wisdom going back out. And the ones who are gonna receive it were the ones who practice in her. Alright? That's where um the um them spirits coming back. All right, and the Lord sent out His men out on the streets to give that wisdom. Go ahead. The incarnation. In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, okay, okay. "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity?" Right. How long you love to be basically a, a stupid, stupid motherfucker? <laughs> you know, that's just basically it. So y'all, y'all just fucking stupid. Man. Yeah, I see all y'all. Uh, that Jake bucket up data ears lights and stuff. Some of they black power, native, native power, uh, La Rasa, you know, all that bullshit. But you tell me things, but you're not one of your people of the sea hip. You're not one about martial law. You're not preparing them. Even your beliefs, you're not preparing them like survival, you know, survival stuff. You know how to make fire, all that stuff like that. The economy, you ain't talking none. They just talking shit against the truth. All right? Scoff. Scoff and shit. Trusting in each. Trusting in each, because you ain't shit yourself. Alright, go ahead. How long will ye simple ones love simplicity? Right. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Oh yeah, they they backpell and all this. They love scorning coming up against the truth stuff, man. They hate this knowledge. That shit reminds me of Charleston White when right. he's talking shit about the Israelites. Yeah. The, you know, the, he's 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 one of those who loves to, to be scorning in this uh scorning. Yeah. You know, he's just a love to talk shit type of motherfucker. He's just a scorner, man. He just love. He's a he's a professional shit talker. Yeah, yeah. He, he said in his video, I did a lesson on it. He said uh, that uh, all the so-called white folks should get together, uh, grab all the people Israelites, dangle half, all right, and uh, hang them up by their neck until they say we ain't Israelites no more. Whoa, well, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa, go whoa, ahead whoa. and do it. Hey, get that, get that, hey, get that Romans with it. Put your life sacrifice. Yeah, get uh, that. Romans 12. Yeah, yeah, get that. Yeah. Mr. Chaz. Three, uh, finish that. Finish that out, though. Right. God. 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. So, so the Heavenly Father is sending out his reproof, his correction, all right, by, by the spirit of his mouth. All right, making his words known unto you. How? Through, through the scriptures, ultimately getting the understanding from the, the prophets that he set up that are coming back, standing in their lot, all right, to warn the people. All right, go ahead. It says, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So the calling is happening right now. Two thirds, they ain't gonna listen to this word. They're not gonna take heed. They're not gonna answer the call. All right, go ahead. But ye have said it not on my counsel, and would none of my reproof. So they didn't. Uh, they counted this as nothing. 
the correction the reproof all right to to not do what unpleased that doesn't please the father all right you didn't take heed to that correction you the the, the console is coming out from these the scriptures all right go ahead i also will laugh at your calamity mm -hmm. i will mock when your fear cometh when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. So this is when you get in that ass beat. This is when you get in uh, that the the, uh, the punishment from God that we don't want to take part of. All right. This is when you're getting judged. What what are they going to do? Go ahead. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right, so when you're going through hell, everybody want to turn to God when they're going through some shit. That's they right. get locked up. Yeah, oh, right. God, please, yeah. God, if you get me out of jail. A motherfucker uh, uh, about to get his brains blown out. God! You got a terminal disease and shit. That's you're right. Right, right. right. Uh, like Lil Boozy and shit. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, he did like a, a thing where he was a... Uh, he was about to die. He had some shit, and he was praying to God. Yeah, but then, but then you got a video of him saying, "I can't eat pork, man. Pussy pork. You eat pussy, you eat pork." He over here eating pork and shit, talking about, yeah, "Fuck you, God. Right. Fuck you, God. I'm gonna eat this pork." What? You know? Yeah. yeah. Damn wicked ass goofball. All right. Yeah. But, but, but when that time comes. You're gonna cry out to God, he ain't gonna hear you. He's well, not he's, gonna answer. He sold out anyway. Yeah, he a damn yeah, sellout. Yeah, he's a goofball. Right. You know? But whenever somebody's in a, a fucked up a predicament, shit, even an atheist, oh God! That's yep. right. Cry. The first thing they cry out to is God. Yeah. Hey, hey, you atheist, you most stupid motherfucker. You try to pick argument. If you don't believe in God, stop trying to debate us. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Yeah. Right. That's the. Right, an atheist always trying to debate somebody about God. Like you don't believe it. Like what's the point? I don't, I don't they can't. They can't. Nonsense. They can't disprove it. Right. You want us to prove it, but you can't disprove hey, we, it. We can prove it by the prophecies. They ain't gonna hear that. No, no, they ain't gonna hear it because it's gonna cut their ass and shit. Like, that's, how, a, that's how we know. That's how we know the most our feel because prophecy be coming true. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, what's that? Uh, I think it's Ephesians. Uh, Get what you got. What you read for, uh, for Charles? Charles, this is Charles and White. Uh, yeah, get that, I think get that book. 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 Romans twelve and one. Right. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Right. Hear that, Charles and White. So it don't matter if all the Edomites grab us and hang us by the neck. And try to make us say, I ain't gonna, I don't give a fuck, you can hang me, do anything, I ain't gonna never deny that I'm here, like, right? Right, I mean, we feel you, how, why, how, shy, Charleston White, unlike you, you fear Esau, we don't give a fuck about Esau, man. Oh, we Esau's get, his dad, right. he work for him. Nobody give a fuck about this He's an he work for his dad. All right, get your backwards ass, man. And so, look, you got support? even if Esau you did do that, hey, the scripture says, precious in the sight of the Lord are the death of his, of his saints. Right. So, hey, so that's an honorable death, dying for Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Right. Uh, that's why you'll never come to uh, uh, Chicago. You'll never come to L.A., man. Because you don't ran your damn mouth, man. Hey, man, you can't run for the most high. Most high got a vengeful spirit for you, man. Yeah. He might do it by the hands of the brother, uh, some of the, the game bangers here in Chicago or L.A., wherever they find your ass, man. All right? And you ain't going to be able to run to East all the time. Oh, Mr. Police, thank you, Mr. Police. Yeah, cause what he's right. in a what for Charleston White the position that the the um right. what you're playing around with you know how they say you're playing with fire yeah what he's playing around with is uh, the scripture says life and death are in the power of the tongue yeah so all that that uh King Vaughn getting fucked by the devil take that King you know how you just talking yeah. shit about everybody yeah. motherfuckers don't like that so I mean it's funny don't get me wrong I laugh at the shit it's just funny as hell. He but yeah. but yeah. life and death is in the power of the tongue. You're yeah. setting yourself up to get taken out. Hey, they could, uh, 
bad way he acted, they could put his ass in a mental institution, man. Put his ass <laughs> in that white padded room. Because uh, look what he doing. He just built a case up against himself, man. That's how cold on both sides, man. All right? Put you in derision. Put you in nah, derision. they need his ass out in this. He saw Walt his ass out here talking that shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> he hey, talking that good shit, too. Hey, but when the most I said the show is over, that's it, man. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Right, then it goes into you know, the Bible. Right. So Charles the White, we ain't scared of no a bunch of Edomites trying to hang him. They're going to say, we ain't dead tonight. You should get up. Right. He's going to lift up the sandals. Right. And the enemy comes in like a flood. Uh, let, me, let me get this right quick. Uh, Matthew uh, 10 and... Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, but verse 24. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Verse 28. Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Alright, so Charles the White will fear Esau. If we fear Esau, we won't be out here. <laughs> One great period, man. Alright? Hey, he can't, hey, he saw he can kill the white, but he can't kill that spirit, man. We are eternal, man. We'll be, we'll be gods, man. As soon as Esau uh, uh, killed us and put the spiritual world, we'll be right back in that heavenly bodies, man, with spiritual powers. Matter of fact, we're going to be looking at your ass while you trying to outrun the missiles and shit in America. <laughs> right, left, bitch. What, what, what does it say? No torments to the souls of the righteous? Right. This is, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun to the east. Right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, a, the, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. Right. Hey, when the, when the flood of enemy come against those little hats, man? The minute, the minute cats. When the, when, when, the, when the some soldiers, El Fimo so rush in against the minute cats and stuff? All right. How come? How come? How come when the, the little girl, the little girl named Annie, was in the attic? How come no her? How come? How come no little little minute had relatives got those spiritual power that standard them, man? Right. All right. Because they, because they not the people, man. Charleston white. All Charleston right. black. Right. Go ahead. Yep. And the redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. All right. Hey, y'all better repent, man. Y'all right. trying to play, you know, with us, play with, you know, play with your power, man. Playing with the Lord. Yeah. yeah. So, look, if the when when the enemy does come in like a flood, all right, the Lord's gonna lift up the standard. All right, he gonna the, the true men of the Lord are gonna get spiritual powers. Your how willing were those men? Says I'm gonna make you a sharp dressing instrument. What you gonna do with a sharp threshing instrument? Put it on display? Hell no, nah, I'm gonna use it. You know? I got the Isaiah 46. Yep, so. Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient time, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Bro, you can okay. tell all the, all the shit you want, man. The prophecy is gonna come true. Your house shack gonna come back with the chariots, with the angels on the so-called UFOs. All right, all you stuff like you say, y'all believe in the spook god? Yeah. But, but it's but the <laughs> evidence that exists in the skies every day. You can walk. I I I out there my life, dogs. I wake up every day and just look at it, look at cherry like man. Not to say nothing, but you got so used to it, man. Yeah. All right. So that's a demonstration of power, man. Right, and uh, yeah. it says he declared the end from the beginning. So this is already predestined. We're just playing out the role. And that goes with that Isaiah 55, my word will yeah. accomplish. And going back to how he started, right. he gave his word as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Hey. So the word's going out. Hey, did those toes split it up? 
the European country, they split it up and stuff. Don't want to be part of the the, uh, the UN and stuff. Hey, did slavery happen? Hey, then the, the, the economy is, is not not gonna recover. I don't give a shit what uh, creepy Joe said, man. He ain't gonna say shit, man. All right? Cause I was in college, I learned about a couple that that's, that 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 dollars not back by the gold standard and silver certificate is inflated, and you can't and you can't reverse it back. Shit, yeah. You go to um the United States debt clock. When you go on that website. It, yeah, that's what's bugged out. <laughs> when you go on that website, yeah. you got how much United States is in debt, right? Yeah. Now, when you go to, it has everything. It has, it breaks down to de- uh, credit card debt. It breaks down to how much each individual needs to pay. It's bugged out. Like, you're born, you born baby. Eh, you owe about $70,000. Like, I just came off the debt, came from the spirit realm. I ain't even... Took a shit yet? <laughs> you know, like, I, I just got here. You owe us seventy thousand dollars. You know that's the. Uh, you know we're under bonds through that uh, birth certificate. Yeah, that's right. You know, so we're servants as soon as we come in this place. When you uh, look on that website, the U.S. debt clock, and mind you, that shit doesn't stop. The numbers keep on going. This much billion in debt. This much trillion. Another trillion, and it keeps on adding up. It don't stop. So then, it's a fool fan. Yeah, shit. When you yeah. go to the, there's a section of gold and silver, which that's real money. Gold yeah. and silver. Technically, for one ounce of silver, because Esau don't stop printing money. Right now, it's about like $30 yeah. for an ounce, give or take, 35 The last time I checked it, 30 bucks, give or take. But according to what, that's how you know Esau manipulates the markets. Because according to the United States debt clock, one ounce of silver is really, you're supposed to get about $35,000 for one ounce of silver. It's a lot. That's what, uh, we, we, we ain't going to get no damn reparations, man. Like, he's not going to get it. All right? And the most yeah, he's, about, he's about bound. He's not going to get one rep- reparations to one tribe and then get the rest of the tribe nothing, man. I think it's, uh, yeah. I think it's gold that is yeah. worth that much. So gold, gold and silver, that's the real, real quick. uh, uh, money right there, and that's how that's what they supposed to pay us with reparations. Damn, my phone died. All right, but you, you niggas, man, you all uh, trolls. I'm gonna say, you trolls, man. You, you ain't, all right, you ain't gonna get no damn reparations, man. You ain't gonna get no, no dollars, no checks, and none of this shit, man. Because this is kind of about to crash. He's all about to move into the to the digi age, man. All right. So it's going similar, digi, man. Right. So we did get reparations. It's supposed to be silver, gold, and other precious stones, man. All right, and they' supposed to take us, um, pull us another land we can reveal, but he's all not gonna do it, man. When you go into the scriptures, right. when you steal like uh, something from your, uh, when you, when you get caught stealing, like if somebody has a donkey or something, right. you got you gotta pay them back that plus extra on top of that. You know how much got their money they owe us, man? That was for, for destroying. Matter of fact. Just for destroying Jerusalem and destroying all those towns, those disbehaved in um, West Africa. And then they gotta pay us. They gotta pay the Northern Kingdom for destroying the uh, metropolitan area in America. And then they gotta pay us for like they ain't got in the modern money city. For that. Then, and then they gotta pay us for destroying our financial districts, turn them to lakes and shit, burn them down, drown town. They gotta pay us for miseducating our children, brainwashing us and shit. It's so much shit they gotta pay for that. I know right now, yeah. I know a Jake family right now, okay? Uh, brother died, but he was a, uh, he invested in silver. So we had a lot of silver. Do you know, what? do you know, silly Jake family, okay. they didn't care nothing about the silver. All they cared about was his actual uh, cash in the banks. Wow. I, I told him, I said, hey, that silver worth way more than the cash. He saw them stole that silver. And now they looking like assholes. They never cared. They all they cared about was the dollars. Dumb ass. When the silver was worth way more than all of the damn dollars. Yeah. And and I, and I I told them I said you got to find out about that silver. And they never did. Don't. 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 What silver? What's I was just about to say. What he saw said what silver? <laughs> it's James five and one. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth Hey, And that's what's about to happen to you. Edomites or Hebrew right. even do have silver and gold. Right. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them 
shall be a witness against you and, sh and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Grab Habakkuk the second chapter. Behold the hirers of the laborers who, who have written, that goes for all of you, all of you billionaires, trillionaires, whatever, whoever got the most money, you know y'all lie about that kind of right. stuff. You keep it together for your last day. This is it. Well, they got so much money. They could pay everybody debt. Right. Oh. right. They get, shit, the Rothschilds can end global hunger and it won't even put a scratch in their pocket. Yeah. How much was that? Oh, all you peasants. They could air, they could air buy a million dollars. Shit. Every single person in the United States, they give them a million dollars and shit. And that, that even, that's, like, that's like one cent to them. Yeah. It said, Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Right? And we're, we're those laborers whose money is held back by fraud. Because first of all, you're supposed to pay us the same day before the sun goes down. Yeah. Right? You're supposed to pay us in gold or silver, or like you said, precious stones or whatever. Right? You're not supposed not supposed to tax the shit out of all of our damn money. They, they get a third of your damn tax off of, off of check, taxes. Right. And every time you go to school. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got Tariq Machine with that bullshit uh, FBA shit. Talking shit against us. Reparations. Yeah. Like you still motherfucker. Supposed to get silver and gold and precious stones, man. I don't fucking cash and shit. Say Tariq we, Machine. Shit. You damn heathens are the reparations. Right. Putting their ass yeah. in slavery. Yeah. You gonna take the chip, man. You talk all that shit. You yeah, take I the think chip. he set up too, man. Who? Uh, Tariq Machine. Tariq Machine. You gonna take the chip. Smart mouth ass Jake. You got all that money, so. Right. Just cool, you gonna take the chip. You gonna, you gonna take that chip, right? Now. I, I, and you dumbass Jake, you gonna scatter because when he saw presents that chip, they, when he, uh, they see him, all right? <laughs> you gonna scatter, you gonna scatter like a bunch of uh, chickens, chickens, they heads. And there's talks about uh, reparations for the Negroes. You heard about they're going to give two hundred and like thirty thousand dollars. Hey, you know what? Go ahead and give Jake that money. Because I, 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 I have a strong feeling, me speaking as a man, that in order to get that, you're going to have to get, you're going to have to be man, uh, uh, vaccinated. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we got it for you, but you're going to have to. Uh, receive this device in order to use it. Yeah. You got to use this device. It's already here for you. It's you digital. just got to put it inside your hand right, right, right. in order to use it. It's here. And we got you know Jake will be lined up for that. Oh, oh, get this. And so it's digital, so we know it's actually you that's cashing your money. So you don't have to worry about fraud. Somebody right. stealing your money. Right. And and, and can check the electron can check your DNA to see if you're truly African American. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Reed, that Reed pierced the hand. Egypt. That Reed pierced the hand. You know, I don't trust yeah. in Egypt. So hey, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past me. Shit, he printing shit out out of thin air anyway, so might as well do it. Shit. Yeah. Hey, they showed that movie, um, the T V series, the watch. The good little boy asked, he said, Did you get that money and stuff? She's like, None of your damn business what I got. Uh -huh. Yeah, so girl, um, the one that played 227, um, I forgot her name and shit. But anyway, he, she was playing the character, he asked, Did you get that money and shit? So they, so even though they do it, they still ain't enough. You that's can't a, pay for shit. That's fucking, that's a, uh, uh, what's the word? Are you getting shit? Basically, shorthanded. Slap you know, you get in a. You know how Smokey uh, in Friday, how he tried yeah. to uh, pay a. Uh, Regina King, that's her name. He yeah. tried to pay a uh, big worm. He was like, yeah. he counted out a hundred, then he yeah. flipped the money over. Yeah. On Tony, on <laughs> like, that ain't even the what you really supposed to be getting. That's the people on Smokey. That's, that's the actor that played. She's the one playing Friday. Yeah. As a. Uh, uh, Q's grand sister. That's her that played in the Watchmen oh, series. Okay. And even my boy asked, he said, did you get their basic say, did you get their reparation check? <laughs> you know. Alright. So you're really uh, supposed to get billions. Trillions. Each, billions. Right, trillion. Yeah. You, we want your ass. Yeah. Cause you gotta pay, you pay, you just can't pay Judah, man. You gotta pay Benjamin, you gotta pay Ephraim, you gotta you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay Gag, Ruben, Asher, 
it's a car, Zavala, you gotta pay all of us, man. That's right. But the most the reason why that's not gonna happen is because the most has a, he's a he most has a got a, a power of Elvis, man. He's not gonna get what, to one trap and gonna get to wrestle. Man. See, he got a whole canal going through yeah. Zeppelin lines. Yeah. <laughs> to get from one side of the earth to the other side. Take yep. over that shit. Yeah. I got that verse, apple. Real quick, verse five. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been one time. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just and he doth not resist you. There's a light. Yep. Oh, yeah. yep. Be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the freshest fruit of the earth and have long patience for until he received the early and latter rain. Y'all ain't talking about y'all wait on y'all think we did this. Y'all wait on your house, shall you down right be waiting on them, man? But while we wait on, we doing the work. You niggas, you ain't doing shit. All you doing just getting up, sitting on your couch, eat some fruit loops and shit. Pat the crunch. Right. And uh clap clap that nasty ass uh slut you got. <laughs> All right, when she set up your best friend the other night. They got the same dirty drawers right. on. Go, wake up, four. go to your, your little shitty ass job, go back to your born life and start that cycle over again the next day and shit, man. And you ain't doing shit, man. You ain't out here warning people. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't telling what's, what's really going on and shit. Right. What, where, it, you talking about where's, where's your town? Where's your little financial district? How come you, how come you ain't going over to Africa to build old towns and shit? Hey, if y'all feel sad, they looking for, uh, for, for employed workers, man. You get you ain't get no citizenship and gun and none of that stuff, man. You just a bunch of niggas that talk shit. Then when he asks you, why you leave America? My ass said, we die here. We play here. I'm going to stay here. Who's talking about? These niggas, these men, African, oh, yeah. pro-black niggas, man. All they talking about, stopping and talking about, we waiting on your house, Shaq. What the fuck they do? You don't believe in the most house. Right? They won't take their ass back to Africa. Hey, right? matter of fact. Hey, can somebody get the scripture? It's called Daniel, Noah. It said these delivered themselves. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they did shit, man. Hey, they take their ass to Africa. Right. They won't even last the fucking week there. They want to come back to America so quick. Right. Hey, go go over there in, you know, in Egypt. Some of you get their ass like they ate by a lion and shit. Right. You won't last over there, man. You be crying and shit. You got Flies all on their ear and shit. Right. <laughs> Ezekiel 14 and 14, shoot perfect. It says, though these men, these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, said the most high. What was they in? They was always in a, 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 a time of trouble. Job went through what he went through. Daniel was in uh, Babylonian captivity. And Noah uh, made it through the flood. They delivered themselves by what? Their own righteousness. So that's how we get up out of this place, all right? When it says deliver yourselves, all right? It, it starts by doing this, all right? Matter of fact, Timothy says what? Uh, preach this word uh, uh, not only to thyself, but also to them that hear thee. So you not only may be able to save yourself, but also them that hear you, that hear you, so I, all right? So this is the most important number one thing we could be doing. This is the bitter fucking cold out here. Right. We sitting uh, uh, out here preaching the scriptures, the living word of Yahweh by Shemuel and Shai. That's called sacrifice. All right? And that's it's a Saturday. That, yep. Yeah, that's called having integrity. Coming out, doing the work of the Lord no matter what. Unlike you other niggas making excuses. Or you, you other guys in these uh, other fucking doctrines, man. Right. Yeah. All right? Fuck some fucking Africa, man. Right. It's, All right? And Africa ain't the promised land. So, like, somebody get Deuteronomy 2868, so they'll win the video. They talking about the motherland. We got to go back. To, the, this one goofball was on TikTok saying the promised land is Africa. No, it's not. You goofy it's ass. Man. You ain't read the scriptures. If the promised land is Africa, Africa be a fucking desert. Could the, could the scripture said that the land gonna be cursed? It's not gonna be raining. Raining. It's not gonna yield no plants anything green, man. That's why Amalek over there important plants every damn year to the home of Israel. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way thereof, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. Because you already asked him, uh, where, uh, <laughs> and where was your house at? Oh, Jesus. Where was God doing the know? Motherfucker, you serving the prison systems. Shit, he you was the one. Up. You get, yeah, I was like, go ahead, huh? 
thousand. Say he the one that put your ass. Right, in you put yourself. Captivity. You put yourself in punk. You put yourself in the corner, man. All right. Hey, where's 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 the voodoo gods? Where's where's Shango? Where's the, the other gods? The other foreign gods at? How come how come how come they didn't come? How come the water spirits? Water spirits come out the water and save your ass from from Esau and break those chains and shit. Poseidon and shit. All right, you niggas, you get me, you piss me off, man. That, especially that, that mermaid shit. Wait, no, oh, but, yeah. but spirits anyway. Under but, the sea. Talking about yeah, the slaves, they got thrown on the water. They turned to mermaid people. <laughs> Who what said that? Fuck? Niggas, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, throw your ass in the water and see the fuck a nigga, a nigga drowning. Don't you know don't you know you got sharks along those routes that took the same route? Man, don't, don't, they, they got ate up, man. They ain't turned no goddamn mermaids and shit. Wow. Because Jake into that uh you know now the, the most I got creatures we ain't never seen before. I ain't gonna die no you know, you know, aquatic creatures, bipedal aquatic creatures and shit. But right. no, nah, ain't no niggas that got thrown off the ship, man. Get the fuck right, out of there, here, well, man. Right there, well, that's written in uh, Corinthians. There's a uh, one time, one flesh for birds, well, the fowls of the air, one flesh for a beast, one right. flesh for man, one flesh for uh, a fish. fish. Right. right, ain't no intermingling, man. Right, ain't no nigga got thrown well, in, a, in a in a in a water, salt well, water, listen, people. And, right. and a and a tail, the fish tail come to end, and he survived. Right, fuck a, lot, out of here, a lot of you, a lot of you people are just out your mind, man. Right. Jake will believe in any other thing except. The scriptures. Being an Israelite, the scriptures. This is the simplest thing, man. Right. All right. It, it, like it says, the ways, uh, his ways are plain to the holy, but to the uh, wicked, they stumble at. It. All right. Jake always got to take something to try to make it sound extra deep. Or it got to be something more than that. No, it's simple. We're the Israelites. Right. We fell off from the Lord. He put us in captivity. All right. Now we're paying our punishment. Right. But he's coming to save us. What more do you want? Like, like the name Yahow. It's easy. Yahow what? No man, it ain't it, man? It, it's your hoover. It's like a nigga in fucking prison for a murder charge, but he's sitting there like, damn, I'm in her, because I got this Rico case. Like, shit that ain't got <laughs> shit to do with yeah, nothing. Nothing. Alright? You you serving out your your, uh, your prison sentence. That's it. Yeah. Alright? Right. Hey, somebody get Lamentation 122. You can finish whatever you read. So watch it, bro. That was it. That was it. Okay. 122. Right, because since we are in captivity, right, uh, there's something called uh, manifest destiny. So part two has to happen, man. That's right. Go oh, yeah. ahead. All right, I'm there. Lamentations four and twenty-two, and it reads: Actually, punishment. actually start at uh, twenty. Twenty. Lamentations four and twenty. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of Yahweh was taken in their pits, of whom we said, under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. All right, where's the land, the land of Uz? All right, it said rejoice. All right, so obviously Edom is still around. This is, this is not talking about in the past. This was a future pro prophecy for today. All right, go ahead. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. And what's that cup? The same cup we drunk, the cup of slavery, all right? Psalms talks about the dregs, all right? The dregs is the bitter end of a fermented drink, all right? And matter of fact, it's the most potent. So Esau, you're gonna be drunk with slavery, man, all right? And this ain't no light wine, wine tasting. No, this is the, the strongest of the strong, man. Drink the bottom dregs, of the barrel. Yep, that the moonshine. Dregs. Yep. Get that cough syrup, Esau. Go ahead. <laughs> Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Right. There. Alright? Because the Lord is going to strip everything away from Esau. Now you could you could read that in uh, Isaiah the 47th chapter. Go ahead. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Now when did that happen? Alright? Now you have to read 2 Ezra 6 and understand that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So happening. that's happening literally right now. So that means this is the end of Esau's rulership. The chains are about to go come off the daughter of Zion and go on the daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. Right, this is the last captivity. That's it. All right. It. And it says uh, we should be in six and the Lord should deliver us from the seven. Uh-huh. All right, this is the last, the final one, man. Seven trumpets. All right. 
the Lord is about to uh, get his children out of this place, man. And for the ones of you who can't believe that, that want to uh, live a happy go merry life in America, well, you're going to find out the hard way, right? The, listen, because, you know, in my job, I got to get into, like, fucking numbers and shit and projections and shit like that. And even though it's on a simple basis, like food and restaurant shit, but it's still a company at the end of the day. Motherfuckers are preparing for another recession, man. Yeah. All right? The economy is already fucked up. Food is horrible, right? They're getting prepared. And that first quarter is always the worst, which is going to uh, dictate the outcome of the rest of the year, which we know is going to be a fucked up year, man. All right? Go ahead. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Hey, what, what the fuck are you guilty of? Putting your hands on the apple of the Lord's eye. All right? The children of Israel. All those commissioned by the Lord because the Lord gave us into your hand and gave our land unto you because we went off. But it was all for a reason. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshai can make his name great again and that we could actually understand and appreciate righteousness and actually learn how to be gods. Not just giving the kingdom, all right? Actually learning how to run the kingdom, man. But you're guilty of it at the same time. The Lord killed uh, two birds with one stone. And, and they for the flesh in second round. They yep. say doing, doing unnecessary shit. Huh. Go ahead. He will discover thy sins. Right. Matter of fact, Revelation 18 says Babylon's sins have reached up to heaven, man. All the abominations that go over, uh, go on in this place. And it's normal, uh, normalized. Besides Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe to him that call good evil and evil good. Oh. That put light for darkness and darkness for light. In California, they, they, they um, I think they try to legalize a grown man to have sex with 11 old girls. I think they already did. I think they did. Yeah. All right. And it's not like, you know, ancient times they had 12 girls, but it's not, they, they was on like an adult vibe. But during these days, right, 12, right. 12 year olds, 12, 13, 14, 15, they on like a. Little, right, they, they, little, a, a little kid vibe. Yeah, so. the biology nowadays is fucked up, man. Everything yeah. got weaker over time, man. Right. All right. So Esau, he a pervert. He wants that young female on a a, a, a kitty vibe, mentally shit. He gets off on this some shit. Walt Disney shit. Yeah, Walt, he get it off of this shit, man. He a pervert. Man. All right. Those be devils. Right. Everything's perverted over there, man. Right. Everything, man. Right, I, I did, you know, I slightly talked about it today. I don't understand how, well, I do understand because it's wickedness, but you got these alphabet people claiming they're Christians. How? <laughs> how when you skip right over uh, 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 Romans 1, Romans 1, Leviticus, Leviticus 18, 18, Leviticus 19. Skip right over it. Redacted. Oh, Deuteronomy 23, uh, 7, 17. Right. But... When you're preaching bullshit Christianity over here, you can believe in whatever, man. You can just twist the words, do this, do that. With the nomination. Right. Yeah. And, and the Lord is going to make all you motherfuckers pay for it. Take it away from the word and add none to it. Yeah. All right? Only the true prophets got the, uh, the living word of Yahweh Shem Yahshua. Whether you people believe it or not, get Romans 3 and 3. Whether you people believe it or not. Because one thing I know, math don't lie. And when you look at the universe, it was all created by one thing. One spiritual miraculous thing, man, right? There's not many truths to the world. There's only one. There's only one. And when you read the Holy Scriptures, it gives direct evidence, man, especially uh, when it comes to his people, not the big, no, small hat motherfuckers over there in Israel, man. Right. The matzo boys. <laughs> the matzo boys. Oh, physics said they, uh, physics did a spirit. They said everything is, uh, they stimulate, stimulate, like a simulator. Right. But it's, and it, and it's, it's on one and zero codes. So it's just like looking at it. Right. It, so th this is a grand design. This ain't no Big Bang, none of that. Even, uh, 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 shit, because I be getting into some of the science shit. Um, but even some of your top scientists said this thing had to be created by something. It had to design. be. Right. right. Intelligent design, called. man. Yeah. Intelligent design. Not no, oh, uh, this just happened. Right. When you go into the uh, fish and the sea and all the animals, they they've been created. They've been yeah. created to be able to do certain it things. To be in perfect balance. You know, they can yeah. camouflage themselves. Uh, I mean, there's so many beautiful there's things that the whole fish. There's this goofball, this goofball on TikTok. He always goes, "Prove God, 
prove with evidence your God exists. You, it's always that one goofball yeah. that. Look, so, take a look. Right. right, right. The fact that we give out carbon dioxide, trees breathe that in and give us oxygen. That's a perfect fucking balance, man. This motherfucker said, this is how it happened. A fish jumped out of the water on the <laughs> land and then eventually started to walk and right. then that turned into a monkey and then we turned I'm like get the How the fish get the fuck out of here. Damn fish would have died right away. Wait, wait, where did this fish come from? Where did the water come from? Right. You, exactly. you have to have two particles of hydrogen combined with one oxygen. Yep. Who made that man? Who made the element? Who made hey how come scientists ain't made no tree out of thin air? Right. Exactly. Okay. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. All right. You you can't you Nor can't can destroy. Energy. You Nor can't can you can You know what? Say you got a desk, right? You want to destroy it. How you gonna destroy that desk? You wanna burn it? Turn it, Turn it to ashes. ashes. Now how you how you get rid of the ashes? You can't you eat it. it. Now you can you can you can blow it away. Yeah, you can throw it in the water, yeah. but they're still there. Hey, that's why the well, like the amputees they still so, feel they still feel their arms and legs and shit. They still feel like they can grab something. Mm -hmm. yep. That's why the scriptures say, uh, "You were made. Adam was made from the dust, and from the dust you shall return." Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, or uh, that Ecclesiastes, I think it's a twelve chapter. It says, uh, uh, "From the dust we were created, and the dust we're gonna return." Yep. That's on Book of Eli. You yeah. know. Hey, <laughs> dust, dust come for the human skin. Right. Yeah. Hey, um. Yeah, we it, shed that dust is uh, your skin being shed. Right. And, and it's it's crazy when you really get into it because you know the way people bury dead people now is not the you don't put them in a box. You put them right back in the ground. You may wrap their body in cloth, but you put them in the ground so the ground can take on the nutrients again, man. All right. That that's that's called. Hey, Lion King taught us this. It's called the circle of life, man. Yep. <laughs> the right? antelope eat the grass. <laughs> like, hey, hey, it's, it's, it's just like, I understand you don't want people dog shitting on your damn lawn. I get it. Right. You know, pick it up, take it elsewhere. But <coughs> that's what a dog supposed to do. They, they make the soil rich. Rich. Yep. All right? Everything is in perfect, perfect balance uh, in this world. But you know who's putting it out of balance? Esau. This Edomite, man. The same man that controls all the Fortune 500 companies, the fucking oil, and the central banks, man. And it's all by fucking design, man. They can easily, with all the science they got, they can easily cure world hunger. Hey, there's that, that one. Even though I don't fuck with GMOs, but you, you guys can create this shit. <laughs> hey, there's this one funny ass motherfucker on YouTube. He does like funny skits. He, he comes out like he, he plays multiple characters in the video. He came out like, sir, I just invented a fuel that uh, for one gallon will burn for 50 years. And then like, and then he's all like, really? Uh -huh. Killed his and, and, then, and then he turned around and he starts beating him with the bat. Beep, beep. The next guy comes in. He's like, sir, I found the cure for all diseases. He starts explaining. He's like, oh, really? Uh, Beak hits him over the head and, and kills him. He's like, why? He kills him and shit. But right. the third dude came. He's like, I invented, uh, instead of uh, putting your toppings on top of the hot dog and the toppings fall, he's like, let's put the toppings inside the hot dog the bun first and then put the hot dog on top so none of the stuff falls down <laughs> and then so it was a good idea the nigga still killed him <laughs> he's like no you know esau don't want nothing that's profitable for anyone right he can't make money off of it right that's the but, point you know what uh in uh this is in 2000 in 2000 we were shipping cars to mexico that had 66 miles to the gallon. In 2000, they, they were not allowed to be sold in the United States. That's crazy. You can see, you know, I've seen it with my own eyes. What, in the 60s, the guy made the goddamn water engine. The damn engine that ran off water. Oh, yeah. He mysteriously disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. They gonna get that, that Let's get back to the truth. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 2. We are born at all adventure. And we shall Start be at one. first one. Because th this is this is the psychotic mind process <coughs> of a deranged individual named Esau. Which he's 
to be a madman, you gotta be somewhat wise. This man's a fucking evil genius at the end of the day. Oh, Ezekiel uh, 283. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Esau's a, somebody get that. Esau's a bad scientist. Peaky in the brain. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep, it says, For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not a right. To life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man, there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. So that YOLO lifestyle, let's use it up all now. Even though the top elites know they come back in reincarnation, that's why they set their families up that way. Yep, they bury their family. Mm -hmm. They Go bury ahead. their uh, cousins, the Rothschilds, bury their cousins. Go ahead. Yep. For we are all, for we are born at all invention, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. Mm -hmm. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke, and a little spark in the movement of our heart. Which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. All right, so you gotta go back to the ground, and then you go to the spiritual world, right? Go ahead. And our names shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance, and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. So in reality, hey, Esau Elam is going to be forgotten about, according to certain scriptures, man. It's going to be like a fucking bad dream. Perish like his own dung. He'll be like, where is Esau? Right. Who, <laughs> who and where is he? <laughs> Go ahead. But this is how they think. They think, you know, nobody's going to know they work. That's why they name the lands after their uh, own name. And they make uh, um, mementos and things of that nature, man. That's how they keep they, yeah, um, their image going. That form of immortality, by right. which they name they, they uh, name they sales, they they buildings or institutions, yep. education institutions, uh, uh, after them and stuff. Yep. Street names and shit. Go ahead. Yep. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Sp speedily use them up, man. Killed all the buffalo to star starve off Gad. After Gad taught you how to live and do certain things, all right? You're just the evil asshole, man. Yep. All right, go ahead. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass by us. So they, they're using up everything. They don't do a land Sabbath, right? Nope. They don't do a year of Jubilee, right? They don't forgive debts, all right? They don't forgive <laughs> they, they don't, for, them, for the Bible to be the law of the land for America, they don't listen to not one law, not one. They don't do no, uh, you're supposed to put, you're supposed to honor lab people with certain crimes. Yep. They just let the person right back out in the street. Go ahead. Well, you know what? All over, all over America, they cut down all the trees. You know, all the, all the, um, yep. you know, all gad and, you know. Yeah. And then so you I got these trees. cities yep. and everybody bunched up together, but you got thousands of miles of land where you yeah. can have where well, trees ain't at. You know, just plain right. lands. You can have houses and good communities. And right? mind you, uh, I believe it's uh, every. Uh, the, uh, the, tr the trees here in America are male trees. Yep. They uh, got rid of all the female trees. That's why there's so much pollen in the sky and people oh, have allerg yeah. allergies yeah. and shit. That, it's just stuff. like a nigga busting yeah. the nut to yeah. fertilize the other tree. Yeah. Kind so of. so Esau fucking purposely did that, you know? It, it probably happened doing the, the lumber industry. The lumber thing was a big thing and shit. Chopping no big ass trees and shit like that. Right. Well, you see what they're doing to the Amazon. Lumberjack men, fucking yeah. number Edomites. Pancake. Hey, well, the scriptures call this man a fellow. Yep. All yep. right, go ahead. Yep. It says, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Fucking Romans. Go ahead. Let, <laughs> let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in, in every place. place. For this is our portion and our lot is this. And Esau knows that. Right, Esau got the same blessing Jacob did, uh, besides the sword, but it was a temporary one. He says you're going to have the dew of uh, earth and heaven, uh, uh, but by the force of the sword. You ain't going to have it e eternally, man. You only got it temporarily. Go ahead. Yep. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs hey, of the what, age. What, 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 what the fuck did we do to you? What did Abel do to Cain? Cain was just a hating ass nigga. Ha. 
<laughs> all because this nigga didn't listen to the Lord on how to sacrifice the right way. Because you was being lazy. Alright? Don't hate on us because we're righteous. But guess what? The Most High made you wicked. So that's what you was meant to do. Now you're saying let, let us oppress the foreign righteous, man. We already poor and fucked up. Let us at least keep our spirituality. But no, you you just want to fuck us over at every angle. Go how, ahead. How dare you say right. you're not like Right. right. How, how dare we claim our own nationality? You son of a bitch. How Go dare ahead. you expose me? Right. right. Let, let our strength be the law of justice. Right. Woe to him that declare unrighteous decrees. Woe to him that uh, prescribe mischief uh, by a law. What was it? I think it's Psalms 94 and 10. All right, go ahead. Yep. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Right, yeah, we, we are the weak of the earth. All right, and, and that's how you other people look at us, like we're fucking nothing. All right? King David said, what, well, he's but a worm or something? Right. Hey, but get this. Something. We look at you, ain't nothing. nothing oh, we know, we know you ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> at all. The Lord just gave you power. You, you're the, uh, uh, what, what do you call them, the beast of the earth? Um, the least, what is it, the least of... Base the, uh, base the base of, of all men. That's how I know the most high exists, because there's no way in hell that the so-called white man should be ruled. And he's not he's not intelligent. Like I mean he's white devil. He's not like like we are and shit. He's not God. He he like, has no common fucking sense, man. Especially when it comes to keeping this earth clean. Go ahead. Yep. Therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. Let's trap him. Let's set him up. Let, let's put him in straights. Go ahead. And he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraided us with our offending the law. Right, because you, you fucking Edomites are going off day in and day out. All right? Look at all the laws that you make. It's totally backwards, man. Oh, the Amalek, they'll say, uh, Moses gave the red law, and then he gave the oil law. Well, what the hell? That's in the scripture. Because one, one girl tried to tell me, she this Jake Chin to that Judaism shit. She going to tell me, uh... Homo, she basically said that alternative lifestyle not condemned. I said, yes, it does. I said, it said it right there in the scriptures. But she talking about that Amalek, Amalek doctrine that they, they brainwash. We're talking, it'll condemn uh, lesbians. Yes, it does. It's, it's a deaf lifestyle. Right. There's no life thing, life can come up. No pro procreation. My, my, son, my son knew at eight years old. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you, you take three islands. And one island, you put all women. And one island, you put all men. And then on another island, you put 20 men and 20 women. At eight years old, he knew death, death, and who knows. So you can Just put, like that. You can put one man on the island with 20 women. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to get life. A <laughs> lot right. of it. And you people, you in that OL lifestyle, you basically sell genocide. That's right. This is... That's the and objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. All right, professor, to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he calling himself the child of the Lord. Because we are. Go ahead. He was made to reprove our thoughts. <laughs> hey, we're, we're here to, to correct you. I know we're right. 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 He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Hey, because what, what did the nation say? Who is this wise and understanding people? Yep. We were different because we had the law. All right. Go ahead. Yep. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Mm. So, you frauds. Thank Fucking you. frauds. Thank you. Hey, right. uh, A bastard should dwell in Ashdown. Get that Revelation 3, 3 and 9. Revelation 3 and 9. You are a counterfeit. Reformation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an Edomite. Revelation 3 and 9. Yeah. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, right. which say they are Jews and are not, right. but now, do lie. Now, originally, they were talking about people doing the dark ages. They they being wicked as fuck. But it's dope for It's talking about you uh, you little heads, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And you are counterfeits, man. All right? Get Psalms 50 and 16. But you, you don't keep the law. It's professed. You said you're the truth of Israel. But like the brothers just demonstrated, you don't keep no one damn law, man. Just look what the state of America is, man. Everything you touch, uh, what they call this shit? It, 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 it gets corrupt. It gets corrupt, man. Oh, like in a like in a, a sci-fi movie, somebody touch something, and they get all rusty and shit, uh -huh. and mold, they just, just deteriorate, man. That's you. 
Esau. His ass, uh, what's that bitch's name from X Men? Rogue. Rogue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He dies and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of vibe is that? Right. You're right. That's Esau. That's a curse. Yeah. And she could, she could take your, uh, your asses and take your spirit and shit. Yeah. She was a damn fucking. Yeah. She was deaf. She, she is. Walking yeah. deaf. Yeah. Touch that bitch, you dead. And, oh, she also represents that false doctrine. Because she, uh, because Gabriel tried to touch, he almost died and she died that false doctrine. Yeah, uh, that woman. Yeah. 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 She was a strange woman. She was a strange woman. Go ahead, get that. Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most I said. What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Right. Or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth? Right, because you say you're you're saying you're your howard up. Alright, would you mistake you said your booty? You say you're that, but where's the rest of the Your booty? Right. <laughs> where's the rest of the nine tribes? And how come you not follow the law of commandments? Why there's a port factory in Israel, you call it white state. Right. You got pink C over there. <laughs> and then you say white you the state. Christians. The uh the Bible is the is the book of the land. But you don't you don't follow one damn law is there. You got Planned Parenthood, you got the uh the alphabet movement going on. How do you right? Planned Parenthood when you fucking kill the baby? Planned yeah, exactly. Parenthood. Planned Parenthood. Yep. And matter of fact, the guy who uh the, the Edomite that spoke on it, it's it it not too long, it was last year, it's out he said uh Planned Parenthood would make to exterminate the the uh the That's tribe of Judah over the African American, he slipped up. Alright? So the plan for basically yeah, started in the first place. You said Tribe Judah, then you got the Lion King right there. Here's the spirit. I went over there and bought Cause. some coffee. It was 777. You didn't take care of that shit. Perfect. And then, oh, yeah. And yeah. And then you say, uh, uh, you the Christians. We wish the original Christians were Israelites, man. Yep. The correct way is said, Mashiach, yo, the anointed ones. Man. First called that in Antioch. Yep. And right? and Which means you had Israelites in these Greek cities and countries. Yep. Yep, and it, it was meant to, uh, it was meant to uh, insult them, and, uh, to, to call the Christians, to right. insult us, man. All right? It's called, we call, we are Mashiach, man. All right? And that's another thing why you, you little might, you little might new caps hate us, man, because we're Mashiach, man. We're the Nazarenes, we're believers of, of all, so your house shot, man. Mm -hmm. And he cuts all your yeah. doctrine, everything, man, because your house shot is the whole book. He shreds all that false narrative you, you spin around the world, man. Right? Seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee. Yeah. Do the, do, the, do the Torah really say you can't get a tattoo? Do the Torah say you can't, a man can't lay down another man? It got to be a great area in there. Right. Oh, here's the Talmud. Right, right. Oh, yeah, the Talmud. Tomba. You write your own shit in there, just make up shit. Go ahead, back to that uh, yeah, Back to Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 18, <coughs> verse 17. It says, Let us see if these words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of so now, So now he done came up with the uh, hypothesis. Well, let's see if, let's see if this works. And well, you, the you're going to prove right us to be right. Yeah. Who, who, who wants to take that gamble? Well, let me, let me fuck with them to see if they actually are the children of the Most High. Stupid. That is. That's stupid. It's psychotic. It's playing with fire. Let's be sure. made them like that. Though. That's what I thought. That's it. When we came out of Egypt, the whole world heard what the Lord did for us. And then they stayed, they ready to fight us. You know, the whole world know what the Lord did for us. Yeah, I Through the Spirit, we see who loved them for us. Can we ask them, uh, can we get passed through their land? Yeah. And then attack us. Yeah. Should we go and go there? Yeah, you want some, you want some water by the way to get no third way to go. Man, but they, then they attack the old and the young people. He's right? stuck with his ass. You know, because we put the old and young people at the at the end and stuff, you know, but they came and attacked us, man. You won't pay for that. Hey, the, the, uh, is he, uh, in Exodus chapter 17, 14, 16, the most I declare turn of water. Generation to generation. Generation. Verse 18, for if the just man be the son of the most high, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with the spitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Hey, how long have they been doing that to us over here in Babylon? Man, it's talking about patience and proving meekness and being tortured. A long fucking time till this day. Go ahead. 
And so we've been very patient. All right? Lord got something for you. Hey, you say lift up that standard. I said, we got all freaking that 19. Hey, the Lord gonna lift some of this Here is the patience of the saints, yeah. which goes into the word suffering. Yeah. Right? Let, us, let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Right. Well, they gave us all types of shameful deaths, from taking our names to hanging us upside down, chopping off our rods, all types of shit. Lynchings, eating us, babies, making leather bags out of us. Oh, cookbooks right? where they did some recipes Tobacco and cook us Yup. Yep. This man got to pay, man. Go ahead. They made damn leather out of some of us. Gonna make some Edomite boots. Yep. <laughs> I never wear them. Oh, yeah, that's, Unclean, you bitch. Like, yeah, that's like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, right. it's, it's, Such things they didn't I'll imagine and were deceived. <laughs> but their own wickedness had blinded them. As for the they mysteries of the Most High, they knew them not. Neither hoped for they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. He saw didn't give a fuck. Yep. He didn't care about being righteous. He, he didn't care about getting eternal life. Hey, that's why he gave up his birthright. It wasn't meant for him anyway. Right. But that's why he did what he did. Is it didn't profit him Show at his the character, time. man. Yep. He's that one commercial. It's my money, and I want it now. He wanted his blessing now. He couldn't wait. He wanted to fill his belly right then and there. So, he couldn't, he couldn't wait. He's a cardinal man. Yep. He's not spiritual. Yep. It says, for the, most right. high, yep, for the most high created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world and yep. they that do hold of his side do find him. Cain. Was envious of who? Abel. He was jealous. Jealous, jealous. Because Abel was righteous and he was being wicked. All you got to do, hey, the Lord told him, if thou do us right, hey, you'll be rewarded as such. That nigga just didn't want to be right. And he, hey, now sin life at your feet and you're the ruler over. All right? You're that old serpent. That's why the world is the way, the way it is. Right, which that shows you that the law was since the beginning, like it says in Baruch 4, because he says sin lies at the door. So sin is a transgression of the laws. You know, so he they knew, they knew uh, you know, what to do, what not to do. This is Proverbs 27 and 4. Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Okay. Can't envy this envy this brother. Right, that's deep. That's deep hatred. You know, man. can't get away from my uh, envy. Hey, you be a little jealous of not comfortableness. You know, you all right, whatever. But when you envy somebody, you really want to take them out and have what they have. Right. Covered, you know. Yup. No remedy. There's a second inch. It's four and thirty. That's why I've been the Lord has to to, to 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 make us perfect, man, with His law, man. This, this flesh is wicked. This place breeds corruption. What does it say? Uh, is there any flesh that be left to be saved? Correct. Right. It says, For the grain of evil seed had been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness had been brought up unto this time? And how much shall it yet bring forth unto the time of threshing come? Ponder now by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed had brought forth. And when the ears shall be cut down, which are without number, how great a floor should they fill? I mean, there's going to be a lot of dead people on that threshing floor. Under lots, a lot. Under lots. 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 Under do thou not, do thou, excuse me, do not thou hasten above the most highest, for, my, for thy haste is in vain, like we just talked about the patience of the saints, for thy haste is in vain to be above him, for thou is much exceeded. Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, how long shall I hope on this fashion, when cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward? 
And unto these things Uriel the archangel gave them answer and said, Even when the number of seeds is filled in you, but he hath weighed the world in the balance. Everything has its balance and its measurement. We know that uh, the scriptures say, what nation have we not going into uh, slavery under basic Right. Right. Yeah. What yeah. nation have not had a part? Had a part, you know? So right. all, all you nations, they go back to the book of Judges. I don't want to hear nobody, well, the Chinese never had Oh, well, nigga, read your history. <laughs> all right? Well, we got a message from the Lord with the left hand. <laughs> Evil. Every, everybody's had right. a chance to be in power. Big everybody big. has a chance. And then as said, I said, O oh Lord, that bearest rule, even we all are full of impiety, and for our sakes, peradventure, it is that the floors of the righteous are not filled because of the sins of them that dwell upon the earth. So he answered me and said, Go thy way to a woman with child, and ask of her, for she hath fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Then said I, No, Lord, that can, that can she not. He said unto me, in the grave, the chambers of souls are like the womb of a woman. For like as a woman that travaileth maketh haste to escape the necessity of the travail, even so do these things, excuse me, do these places haste to deliver those things that are committed unto them. From the beginning, look, what thou desirest to see, it shall be shown thee. Then answered I and said, if I have found favor in thy sight, <laughs> And if it be possible, and if it be, and if I be meet thereof, therefore, show me then whether there be more to come than is past, or more past than is to come. What is past I know, but what is for to come I know not. And we're seeing those things now. Right, that's happening. Prophecies are actually living before our eyes. Like a back of two cities. He said, and he said unto me. Stand up upon the right side, and I shall expound the similitude unto thee. So I stood and saw, and behold, a hot burning oven passed before me. And it happened that when the flame was gone by, I looked, and behold, the smoke remained still. After this, there passed by before me a watery cloud, and sent down much rain with a storm. And when the stormy rain was passed, the drops remained still. Then said he unto me, Consider with thyself, as the rain is more than the drops, and the, as the fire is greater than the smoke, but the drops and the smoke remain behind, so the quantity which is past did more exceed. Then I prayed and said, May I live, thinkest thou, until that time? Or what shall happen in those days? He answered me and said, As for the tokens where, whereof, which are the symbols, whereof thou askest me, I may tell thee of them in part, but as touching thy life, I am not sent to show thee. Right, so the angel said, you know, he ain't going to touch the part of his life, but I'm going to leave tokens showing you signs of the times. And what's the signs of the times? Hey, second edge of the ninth chapter. Uproar of the people. You you got people uprising everywhere, man. Food shortages, the failure of the economy, all right? Yeah, them declaring their sins in Sodom and Gomorrah, all right? Hey, matter of fact, here's another sign. The people of Israel... The true people of Israel waking up to who they really are. Let me get that. I mean, because now you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and speckled birds have no reason why you do not know that you're Israelite, man. It's written in the Bible. It's written in history. And there's a group of people on planet Earth that stole our identity. And now they're getting mad because we're claiming our heritage. You, you show me in the history books what's the so-called black man's true nationality and heritage. Because it ain't slavery. It ain't fucking Africa, all right? They, they, they barely tell you about the, the, the Moors that ruled Europe. They don't tell you about the four tetriarchs. They don't tell you about uh, uh, Constantine, all right? They don't tell you about the, uh, the, the, the Nicene Council, all right? They don't tell you about the, uh, the black uh, Holy Roman emperors. They don't tell you about that, man. They don't tell you about King James. They don't tell you about Scotland and all that. They don't tell you about the Vikings and what color they were, all right? Our history has been stolen and hidden for a fucking reason, to keep you niggas on the bottom. That was the whole point. Go ahead. This is uh, Baruch 4 and 4. <clears throat> o Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. 
ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. It says sold to the nations. When has those small hatters with the big nose over there in Israel been sold to every fucking nation on the planet of heaven? Has it been? We were sold, first of all, we were sold under Jewish people. All right, go look at the slave ships. We were sold under Arabs, sold under Hematic people, all right, and so on and so forth. What other nation has been spread across the whole world by slavery? Name me one. It wasn't the Chinese, it wasn't the Japanese, all right? Uh, 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 it, it damn sure uh, uh, wasn't the Australians, all right? There's only one group of people who've been scattered across the world via slavery. And I'm talking about niggas uh, spicks in uh, Native Americans, man. Not to say those words, just being, you know, lame, lame in terms, man. Because when they was bringing niggas over here on the ships, they was picking up Native Americans and taking them over to Europe. That's our history, man. But nobody talks about that, man. Go man, ahead. When you go out on the roots and stuff like that, they used to uh, beat the uh, slavery out of you, you know what I'm saying? They used to beat the heretics out of you, you know? The uh, Tobin and stuff like that. Not the heritage yeah. out, mm -hmm. you know? Now you niggas just think you right. niggas and gang banging and smoking bullshit, man. Right. Not knowing that you're a royal priesthood of the Most High. That's right. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 50 and 33. Just said the Lord of hosts, the children Jeremiah of 7, Israel 4. and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. So what one place on planet Earth that all the Israelites were in captivity together? Right. America. Hey, when were the little hat hook noses oppressed with, well, with uh, the other tribes? Right. It says right. With, uh, Israel and who? Judah right. were oppressed together. Northern and Southern Kingdom. All right. right. The, so, uh, the, 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 the little hats claim to be the Jews. So that'd be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Well, then what about the rest of the tribes? When were you uh, uh, held captive with them? Hey, who, who fills up the prison system? Latinos, hey, hey, people robbed us, brown skinned people, man. All right? Because the system was not created for them, the system was created to go against them. All right? See, they, they, they took the physical chains off us and put mental chains on us. Emancipation only means to transfer. So all we did was get a social security number, birth certificate, and got transferred over to the fucking bankers. That's the history of that fucking contract, man. All right, go ahead. It says, the Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Which is over here, America. America is Babylon. Babylon meaning confusion. America is full of confusion. All right, from the top to the fucking bottom, man. All right, and the, the number one confused people on planet Earth are you Israelites because you don't know your true heritage, man? One year you're black, the next year you're African American. Right. Your color. And African and stuff like that and all this type of But hey, is. you go back to Africa, they don't yeah. even accept you. Why is that? <laughs> because you're not African. Just because we're both dark skinned races don't mean we're the same blood. Don't mean we're the same race, man. Hey, this motherfucker's in Malaysia darker than me. That don't mean they Israelites. That's right. Go ahead. Yep. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, said the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dope. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. Right. Now, if, if you know anything about ancient Babylon, Babylon was just conquered and transferred over. It didn't get destroyed. So this is the future prophecy speaking of America, man. All right? One thing about history in nations, no nation lasts forever. Whether America's been going on for 200 some years, right? Rome went on for almost, I believe like 900 and some years, it still got destroyed. Same thing that's gonna happen today, man. All these nukes are not made to not be used, man. Okay, we see what's going on in the Ukraine, we see what's going on in the South China Sea, we see what's going on in the economy, man, All right? We see, how Biden and these other people are pushing uh, a digital currency, especially uh, this new digital currency for Africa. Why is that? They want to get everybody on one fucking system so they can set up the NWO, which is something they've been trying to set up for the longest. 
is the wallet. Yeah. Yep. Magra. Yep. A sword is upon that horses and upon that chariots and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her. Right. What does America call the Great Milton Pond? So you got different people from different races all in one spot. All right. Go ahead. Yep. And they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall become, and they shall be robbed. Right. So America is going. Hey, when you talk about all the history of the world wars, wars, foreign foreign troops never touched this land, and I I, I won't even call call the Britain, uh, the Britain. Uh, what, what war was that? Revolution. Yeah, the American Revolution. I wouldn't even call that foreign troops because they're the same nation. Yeah, it was a country. Right. Yeah. Franchise. Yep. Go ahead. Try to cap. Try to captivate them. See this planet? That's all we can do. Jump over. Isaiah forty-seven and five. Go silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. This is, hey, you ain't gonna be a virgin, man. The Lord is gonna fucking stick you with all types of missiles. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you get penetrated. Hey, talk about uh, the the carousel. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna get penetrated. She's gonna ride on the yeah. missile. Right. She's right. Yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. It's some hot dicks. Go ahead. <laughs> it says, "I was wrong for my people. I have polluted my inheritance." Given them into thy hand, <laughs> thou didst show them no mercy. No mercy. Upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Yeah, they give a fuck about the old people. And uh, the old folks had to stay in the field all day, just like the young people, man. All right, there was no mercy shown uh, upon Jake. So guess what? Ain't no mercy. Only mercy Esau isn't gonna get is on Shabbat. That's right. e e Esau's gonna look for the Shabbat each and every week. On Shabbat. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, Will. So yeah, you. Well, uh, it's in verse 7. And, ass, and thou says, I shall be a lady forever. I'm, too, <laughs> yeah, I'm dead ass about that. Yes. Ugly ass hoes. It says, and thou <laughs> says. Yeah, yeah. And nice and warm, too, bitch. This warm as hell. And thou <laughs> said, I shall be a lady <laughs> forever. <laughs> oh, let me just start to my own. Ugly ass bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. Biatch! Hey, I can't man. feel my next one. Hey, man, you how about she now trying to destroy those wicked bitches, man? Bunch of harlots. Bunch of harlots, man. <laughs> so that thou Stupid didst not bitch. lay these things to thy heart, neither, neither didst like remember. Consider that latter end. Yep. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. All right. Hey, hey, listen, you guys can sit and laugh at the problems. Oh, you guys got ponchos on. Bitch, first of all, you fucking Hispanic. What, what type of joke was that? Oh, you guys out here with ponchos. That's yeah, and you're you dumbass, man. Same but you got a skirt on and it's cold it's as fuck. 23 degrees out here. You, you got son on of a high bitch. skirt. Or. Yeah, yeah, we made a spectacle, but guess what? It's going to be a spectacle of blood when you haul about Shimmy on Shabbat returns, man. Mind you, those going to be the same holes. Oh, yes, sir, Adam! Yes, sir, Adam, please! And please. Isaiah, Isaiah 4 and 1, right. those are going to be the same bitches that are like, oh, can we take your name? You'll be like, nah, nah, nah bitch. The bitch will say, what you laughing at? You. You. Uh -huh. like, nah. Son of a bitch. Go ahead. Hey, that's what's, hey, a lot of you women are out of fucking place, man. It's no way in hell I'll walk past a group these big ass black men talking shit, <laughs> fragile ass woman. What the fuck is your problem? See, uh, uh, Babylon gave these women too much fucking power, man. That's right. All right? Social media. This feminist bullshit, man. Go ahead. Verse 8. And that's not us being misogynistic. It's that's just, just telling you the fucking facts. That's right. right. Ain't no woman king over her. That's right. All right? We love women. We hate bitches. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's part of the patience of the faith of the saints, too, brother. Right, we, you got to suffer this shit from these fucking pea brain women, man. Go ahead. Shit, they're female. Like, I'm going to be on that Matal shit. They're really females. They are really females. They're not women, because a woman is a, a mm -hmm. servant to the, her man. That they're just a... fucking females. Sure. And they ain't even ladies. A lady's a, no a woman women. that know how to bake and shit. Well, a lady no... is also a woman of nobility. 
Yeah. And, and yeah. they come from a noble birth, but yeah, they don't claim you, it. Yeah, yeah. When you, when they, yeah, because over there, you, uh, especially back when we was ruling, you'll get that title. Lady, Lord. Lady this, or lady that. Right. All right. These, these females Duchess are this, bitches, that. hoes, sluts, skanks, and everything else in between. Slut walk. Queens. Yeah, queens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Queens. That's what they. That's what though they, these females are today. They don't. You don't get the title woman or lady. You gotta earn that. Verse eight, bitch. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, hear now this: Thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, mm. that sayest in thy heart, I am, and none, none else, else beside me. me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. Yep, that one hour, man. The destruction of America, man. Yep. The loss of children and widowhood. Yep. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. But thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. You're going to get ready to wrap it up in a minute. Uh, the, uh, I said, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, thus said me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. And that's, that's being powerful to think that the, uh, this place ain't going to ever be taken down. What happened to Nebuchadnezzar when he was being powerful? He's like, look at all this that I've done and no, oh, I'm so great. And what happened? The Lord turned his ass to a fucking beast. He gave him the mind of a beast. Yep. All right. And humbled him. Hey, this place is going to get humble. All right. It's going to, it's going to be, it's going to get turned into a wilderness for the beast desert creatures well the thing is reason and uh i speak as a man but it's according to the scriptures and the reason why the lord did that i mean you know just to sum it up because it's the first law it says the beginning of uh of wisdom is uh, i believe it's fear you know so he had to fear the most high so the lord since the fact he didn't uh he didn't fear the most high the lord took all understanding from him and made him as a beast because even uh king david had said that you know uh i was as a beast before thee you know and that's what these people are ultimately going to turn into, man. Because they don't have the fear of the Father. It says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. All right, and, and the, you know the, 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 the final enchantment is going to be that C to the HIP in which they're going to mark these people like, like you do a cow, a cattle. Like you brand the cattle, like you put, they put paint on whatever to identify whose property they are. A little teeny I, tiny silicone chip is what they're saying now. You know, to make it seem like it's, 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 it's nothing uh, super great. You know, right. nobody, we're tracking you. Nobody's trying to track you. Plus the cell phones are tracking you. You might as well take it, man. Right. They got all, all the new stores, they got them, man. It's RFID readers in the ceiling. We don't accept cash. Kind. Yep, Walmart, they got the line. Well, if you have this app on your phone, you can go to this line. Yep. Otherwise, you can't. The advanced line. Kind. And eventually, well, you got to have this RFID tag in you, you know, so we can get a biometric analysis. Because of uh, COVID-19, we want to make sure, you know, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You still can't say the word. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lot. Okay, kind of. <laughs> it says, Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save these, save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. I behold, they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter, none shall save them. Right? And ultimately, we know the scriptures say every, everybody is going to flee to their own land. Yep. Right? And then, you know, destruction is going to be imminent. 
Alright, it's gonna hey, this place is gonna get real hot, real fast. Alright, it's gonna it's gonna stay uh, uh with smoke going up for a long time. That's right. I mean, how the fuck wait a minute, like the brother said, I can, you know you can't say that word which you know you can't say it on YouTube. But uh why not? Where did it go? It just all disappeared now? It used to be you couldn't go out, you know, to the store after a certain time and all this other shit. You're too close, guys. Right, right. You can't stand to what happened. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> it's 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 so it went out of vacation. Come on, man. The, the greatest fucking disease and, and this great event that happened, and all of a sudden the shit just up and disappeared. It's on vacation. Even though we never took the... Never mind. Never mind. All right. But that's it, man. That, that's why. Because they want... And now you have people actually dropping dead. And that's an enchantment right there. People are actually dropping dead because of that shit. They have evidence because of it. But go to uh, in Revelation 18. It says there's sorcery. Uh, when you, uh, and get that word sorcery in the blue letter. This is Revelation 18. And it says uh, no more with their sorceries. It's in Revelation 18. It talks about uh, there no more their sorcery. Okay, verse 23. It says, "In the light of the candle, in the, in, in the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee." For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Right, that, their sorcery. We're going to look up that word sorcery. Yeah. Blue letter. Yeah. Yeah. Sorcery. Pharmakeia. 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 And what is that? It goes to uh, their, their drugs, their, their prescription medications. Yeah. You know? This used to be a CVS. The use or the administering of drugs. Damn. So, poisonings, poisoning, sorcery, magical what, arts. What is Esau hitting the people with? What is serpent Deceptions. Yep. And that? it's a deception. <laughs> Get the juice and you will be fine. And then here it is. These motherfuckers who took the juice Science. dropped the dead. What's, the, what's, that, what's that movie that just came out? Uh, 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 Macbeth. And that's what the witches they were doing. They're making a group. Yeah, uh, that uh, 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 right that's, yeah, that's actually how they make up those. Uh, you know, the the, the VAX. Man. That's how they make those. You know, they basically take it's a parts of it. Yeah, <laughs> they take actual parts. Oh, oh shit, please. the phone died. All right, I'll read that. We get ready to close out. We'll close out on that. Oh Timothy, this is uh First Timothy six and twenty. Oh Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called. Right, Esau's uh, science, you know, the so called science, you know, we ain't. Um, that's why the scriptures say uh, to put on the whole armor of God so that you don't be deceived, you know, uh, or it goes into the wiles of the devil, yeah. the trickery. We know uh, Satan is like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And he uses his science, his so-called science, his, and uh, yeah, media, that, yeah, his so-called science and his, his television to tell his vision and lie to the people. Right? He's, he's ultimately a sorcerer. He's a, a high-level wizard. Always a sorcerer. You know, using his, his, his drug, his, uh, his pharmacy, his, uh, his drugs, his prescriptions to, to keep the people docile. The food? The food. Is a drug. Yep. It's and that's a drug too. Yeah. Everything. Right. You know? Right. Oh, Harry Potter, that was one of the, they had like different classes. They had dark magic, <laughs> and, uh, potions. Yeah, yep. they, 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 they showed the different things that the witches do. Go ahead, get that, Joe. This is Joe 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Yep, Esau's a, li a father, a liar and the father of you. Yep. You know, so ain't nothing profitable gonna come from the devil. Look at his shirt. He got the devil on the shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's who you are. <laughs>
Yeah, but the Slavic tradition still come from another folklore. Yeah. Gentlemen, have a good day. Take it easy. See, here he goes. The devil had the devil on his shirt. And it was riddled in pedophilia, devil. too, man. Yeah, yeah, he was stealing the, he was stealing the boy. That, that, that's riddled in nothing but pedophilia. Punish a small child. What would you call it? Somebody who... Kidnap, he got kidnapped. You're kidnapping a child. You're beating on them. That's, that was That's how it was. What was that movie Um, with uh Ethan Hawke? It was a new, it's a new movie that just came out. Uh, so the something I think it's uh, called phone or something. Oh, black, black phone. Something. Oh, black phone. I think black it's, something. It's, black yeah, it's black. It's black phone. And uh, basically, that's the same mask he yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. He was still the kids. <laughs> he was he was kidnapping kids, and they all had a certain look. They all, and they did the same thing. They they had to be rebellious. He couldn't punish them if they didn't try to rebel and escape that's or right. do some weird shit. That's why the, the last one he lasted the longest that's because he was cooperative. Ah, you just killed the movie. Yeah. I don't hear. Nah. <laughs> Say spoiler alert next time, so I can go like, la, 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 la. Yeah, but, uh, we're gonna uh, with that, how Wartazad, this is edifying. So next time, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashuk, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Karkadash. All right, to next time, Shalom, and a Bible ball, a Bible ball.